Earth signs Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to get some important general messages for you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, spirits and angels, please show me important uh, important general messages for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn today. <clears throat> The high precision of first at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so seven of pentacles here may indicate you waiting and observing but if this is something to do with the finances with career um i feel like hmm. if you've been investing that's what i'm getting you're wondering where is uh what is going to be the outcome of this investment or what should you do with this investment right because pentacles can indicate hidden money so maybe there could have been some money that you have put away or it could be money that you have used to invest in your shares or in your uh, in a home but i feel like you could be thinking or uh, wondering whether uh, you should do something about it okay so there is a bit of a contemplation energy here because we've got the seven of cups here so you could be seeking uh, for options on how to invest or what should you do with your investments or it could be what what should you do with your work with your career if you actually work for somebody or it may have something to do with your business as well if you own a business or thinking about owning a business so we've got the death card here so for me this indicates you thinking about making a big change right and ending to something um and transforming something here uh, i feel like it has something to do most likely with your career mm. got a ten of pentacles and over six of wands and the eight of wands and my first well, I would like to say this, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn is definitely encouraging you to move forward because if you're thinking about with the death card here, transforming something, uh, again, it may have something to do with your, most likely, I feel it has something, something to do with your business or your career. Spirit's definitely giving you, uh, encouraging you to do so because of the pos very positive card here, the sun, right? um this is definitely a yes if you've been if this is what you've been thinking about okay transforming something changing your career um making a big change right? it's not a small change because death, because death is a is a, a major arcana and so is the sun so the sun is a major arcana too but it's very positive but it takes something to end before this can happen so with the six of ones also it's a success card and the way this person is actually walking towards the sun here well not walking sitting on the horse <laughs> um moving towards the sun i would say um it's definitely a big yes if you've been contemplating in regards to making some changes again it can be changes within your home uh or you know um your investments um could be your job career starting business big change I, I think with the seven of cups here of virgo taurus and capricorn you could have been thinking long and hard in regards to that hmm. for some of you seven pentacles here you may have been thinking that you know maybe i'm putting way too much time and effort into a certain uh career into your job and that perhaps you need to find a way a smarter way to get things done quicker so for some of you this could be that as well with the death card here so an end to uh, a pattern or an end to some things uh, that you're used to doing it could also be an indication of an end to some sort of a routine okay hmm so we've got the ten of pentacles in reverse and also we've got the eight of wands in reverse this may indicate a delay for some of you if you've been thinking about moving home, changing a career. There is a bit of a delay here, but Spirit say, saying that with the Seven of Pentacles here, perhaps, uh, and also with the Eight of Cups, you're not sure if, you know, this is really something that you want to do. Is it going to cost you more? Ten of Pentacles, because ten is definitely more than seven, right? 
so with the queen of pentacles here yeah i feel like spirit's trying to say do not worry okay it feels like this change that you're making it's going to be a very very good a prosperous abundant change that will lead to a sense of stability or financial stability and also financial freedom because you look at the sun here this little kid here feels so free looks so free and happy you're gonna be happy okay really really happy with this big change that you are thinking about making for a lot of you you know again seven of cups seven pentacles here you've been thinking long and hard about it for a while now and now finally you are going to make a change i hope you're making this change because spirit's definitely saying yes to this big change right um the sooner you do it with the ten of pentacles here and my person eight of wands uh, i feel like spirit's trying to say the sooner you will see you'll be the sooner you see the results or the outcome or that the sooner you are going to be enjoying the abundance here okay resulting from an ending or some changes that you are making in your life and i feel like for some of you this may also have something to do with love because we've got the seven of cups here cups is love but i'm only you know leaning towards more like the career or business because um because there's so many pentacles here <laughs> but for some of you earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn if this has something to do with love you could have been contemplating in regards to ending a connection or making a big change or just putting your foot down and saying no i'm not gonna take this anymore unless you know unless there's some sort of transformations that some big changes okay being done uh within themselves within yourself or within yourself or within the connection okay so ten of pentacles here is in my verse and eight of wands and rock first this also may indicate uh somebody could be contemplating on whether to tell you something or it could be you contemplating whether to tell somebody something here okay and i feel like eventually with the eight of swords here sorry nine of swords and my first can indicate you um, kind of don't want to stress yeah i feel a lot of you just don't want to stress don't want to add more burden in your life that is completely unnecessary okay if you've been investing your time and your money your effort uh, it could be investing anything emotionally into somebody and look at the seven pentacles here these pentacles are not they're hidden in a bush actually right so you have put in all of these effort into it um planting the seeds and it's, you don't see any out um, it's like something that maybe it's taking way too long for some of you or that the outcome is not what you expected it to be and perhaps for some of you, you feel like you've put in way too much energy uh, way too much effort into a certain person or a certain connection and you know you really don't see them returning the favor or that they're just not or that they're just not treating you the way that you expect them to treat you so but whatever the case is uh earth signs virgo taurus capricorn i see this decision that you're going to make which is to either put an end ending this connection some of it's ending this connection for real or is to put your foot down and ask your person to end certain things okay transform something um so that both of you with the six of ones to, and the sun here um can be clear about things uh, can see a future much clearer that's what i'm getting here someone may not be able to see the future with you or you may not be able to see the future with this person yet as of right now i feel like because again the seven pentacles it feels like hidden so if if you can't quite see a future being with somebody yet i, I feel like you're going to be seeing it eventually okay with the sun here so for some of you the death card indicates uh, you really ending a connection with somebody or some of you you will be uh demanding here with the six of wands it could be demanding it or it could be through your actions that some things need to change okay or it could be through again communication eight of wands here something needs to change i feel like with the eight of wands in my first you're not going to be too nice by telling this person that they need to change or that they need to make some uh 
they need to make some big changes um else you're gonna walk right six of ones here you're just gonna walk because you are you are a virgo taurus and capricorn here six of ones and you're the king of pentacles uh, sorry the queen of pentacles here so you've got your life sorted out most of you uh, virgo taurus and capricorn you are somebody very independent you are stable okay you have achieved a lot in your life six of ones you've been recognized a lot for for your effort um and also six of ones can indicate you know you having to fight a lot in your life okay to be where you're at right now so you have a lot of respect from a lot of people people look up to you you could also be a leader people listen to you and you know uh, take your advice do what you say or you may be um sitting at a very high position at work where people have to listen to you and respect you so for some of you you may be disrespected by some people you work with or it could be you feeling disrespected by somebody you are in a relationship with whatever the case is i feel like virgo taurus capricorn you're gonna make things clear here with the sun to whoever these people are who could be disrespecting you because you must always remember with the six of wands here you're sitting on this horse right you're a champion <laughs> you're you know you're successful and that you know what you're doing so some people cannot just disrespect you however they want to, okay? So, but I'm seeing a lot of you just moving towards the sun, so moving towards positivity. And as you guys know, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, I do daily readings. So this reading may apply to you today, or it could be tomorrow, or, you know, uh, next month. But, you know, divine timing for each and every one of you is different. But I definitely see you moving towards the sun, moving towards the positivity, moving towards happiness okay but something needs to give or something needs to end or something needs to change right so the queen of pentacles here again you're gonna be really happy especially it could be a decision that you're making in regards to your career or your finances the queen of pentacles you're making more money or you're more stable financially um also for some of you you may be blessed with a baby with a child okay if you know only for those of you if you think this is something positive that you want in your life there could be a chance of you um getting pregnant or getting somebody pregnant if this is really what you want so you know overall the sun is you know the sun indicates positivity so um for each and every one of you of course is different what makes you happy right now virgo taurus capricorn what what would make you happy just think about it uh for a moment here what makes you happy uh, what do you want in your life that's gonna make you truly happy and uh this is what's gonna happen i feel for a lot of you um for example if you think that ending a job starting a new business is what going to make you happy it's going to make a future much brighter and that you're going to feel much more secure because the queen of pentacles also can indicate security so if you feel that uh, this change is going to make you happy happier feeling more secure um Spirit's definitely saying to go for it, okay? And if there's somebody whom you could be romantically link, linked with right now, okay? And if you've already put an end to this connection, if you have you have uh, walked away from this person, Spirit's saying, yes, you are doing the right thing. Because the sun card is always a yes for me, okay? And very positive. So you made the right decision. And for some of you, again, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, if you've already put your foot down and say no i'm not gonna let you walk all over me anymore i will not allow you to behave a certain way towards me i will not allow you to disrespect me spirit saying that you're doing the right thing as well okay so it feels that whatever the case is the outcome is going to make you really happy really really positive and you're gonna be uh less stressed okay nine of swords here and reverse and for some of you it's you decluttering right because ten of pentacles in reverse it's look at these pentacles they're a lot and this is a house right inside a house some of you seven of cups here you could be wondering you know should i organize my home should i throw things away that don't serve my highest good anymore should i declutter sometimes decluttering your home or you know just uh put it, 
、mm, organizing. That's what I'm getting here. Will give you a sense of freedom. I hope that makes sense to you. Look at the sun here. Feels like there's more space, much more positive, and six of wands. It'd be easier for you as well、uh, to manage your daily life.、Mm, less things. <laughs> I always believe in this. In this, if you have less things, you will,、uh, you don't have to clean it as much. Okay, you have less things, you don't have to wash it as often, you don't have to clean it as much. <laughs> Or,、um, if you want to move, that's another thing I'm getting here. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Some of you could be thinking about moving, right? Six of Wands, moving. To a summery country here with the sun here, it it will be much easier for you to move. For some of you, maybe this is what you're doing. You are decluttering, decluttering, giving things away to people, selling things off, so that you could pack up and leave. Okay, if some of you you are leaving、uh, to the sun here, le leaving towards.、Uh, I feel like a place that's gonna make you happier. That's gonna make you feel much more like home. It could be returning to somewhere that you've been to before, or you know, just the sun. Well, it just feels like it's a happy place. So, generally, metaphorically, it's just a happy place. So you're going to your happy place, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. For some of you, it could be literal, physically walking, you know, moving towards, you know, your happy place. And for some of you, it's metaphorically, okay, moving towards your happy place. By being successful, six of wands here. By overcoming struggles, obstacles, and financial freedom here. Of course, for a lot of you, you're moving towards financial freedom or financial stability. All right,、uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna leave you with、uh, two videos on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I am leaving you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs, with different topics and different questions. And also,、um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just click on it and scroll all the way down. Look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And don't waste any of these videos because I post them every single day. There could be some, you know. Important messages for you over there, so check it out. And Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care. Bye.